hey guys welcome back to the channel and well what can i say this is going to be an interesting video uh this video is going to be entitled cracking packs uh i did film this video uh yesterday i think it was i think yeah i think it was yesterday uh and so i do have another uh, pack to basically crack open for you guys but until then uh yeah we can uh i hope you enjoy the video and guys please don't forget please hit that like button subscribe comment uh tell me what is your favorite magic the gathering card what of all sets what is your favorite card okay guys until then enjoy the video and i'll see you in the next one to another exciting episode well technically it's the first episode but to me it's another exciting episode and today I'm going to be doing something called cracking packs. And what that means is I search eBay, I search Facebook, I search um, Amazon even, because even Amazon's getting in on this. And I find retailers that sell themed packs of Magic the Gathering. Um, if you may or may not know, right behind me here, rather extensive collection of Magic the Gathering cards. I'm trying to get back into the habit of collecting cards that I had in my previous collection that sadly was lost uh, when I left them in the care of someone in North Carolina. They did not pay attention and they actually threw away 15 years of my collection. I even had some signed cards in there that were worth quite a lot of money. And um, apparently the person who I left them in care with, her parents just threw them in, it took them to the dump and threw them away. Yeah. I... Still mad about that. So I'm back to scratch, collecting my, my, my cards again. And so I have gone to a certain websites and gotten certain cards because I just can't get them for a decent price on Amazon or eBay or various other places. So I've gone to places like Card Kingdom, things of that nature, and got them for a really decent price. Um, now, some of these cards aren't meta. Uh, what I mean by that is I don't care if they're currently being played. I just want them to have them back into my collection. One of which is the Avatar of Woe. Now, Avatar of Woe, simple little 5-6... I think she's like, yes, yeah, so she's a, a five, six for eight. She's very expensive. But uh, again, I just had her because I had a player set. I had four of her in my collection and gone. So I've got one of her. And again, I bought that separately from Card Kingdom. And because I bought so many cards from Card Kingdom, they threw in a, a, a free card. They threw in a Heartless Act. I, need, I do need to get some more. This is actually not a bad card. Heartless Act. I do need to get some more. Uh, I got Geth, Lord of the Vault. Four of, which is considered a player set. Uh, a player set is four of any one card. And I've got Geth, Lord of the Vault, because I'm going to be building a zombie deck here, uh, just for my own shits and giggles. Uh, Wraith of the Prodigent, uh, of the Prodigent Six. Again, another player set. Um, this is a 1-1 one, one for two. That uh it gets plus one, plus one for each creature in your opponent's graveyard. So if you've got a mill deck and you've milled your opponent and he's got three or four creatures in there, this becomes a five, five, a six, six, a seven, seven. It, it snowballs. And of course, I've got four of them for a player set. And I've got my first of the player set that I want to get for Phage the Untouchable. This is the original one from Legions. Uh, of course. Now, when I buy cards from... from, from uh, collectors and shops and whatnot when you see them come double sleeved and in a protector's stiff this to me screens that the guy cares about cards cares about collections and so i will be purchasing more cards i i need to get i need to get a chroma um angel of fury a chroma angel of wrath um so i've got to get the whole chroma set i've got to get chrona Corona the False God and a few others from the I, I I loved Legions. Legions was my was my jam, was my set. Uh so I've got to get Phage, I've got to get Corona, I gotta get Um Her brother. He started off as red and then he ended up becoming green. Crossovan, Krogovan. His name will come to me soon. Uh, and then I'm gonna be getting the original Kamigawa cards. Um because I was a big uh, uh Godo fan. I loved Godo Tendo's Maul, Godo himself. 
um, the Yamzaki brothers. Um, I had a huge samurai deck that was just laying waste to everyone. And, and, and of course, it, it, I was Jit as well. Now, Jit is the most broken card in the whole of the Kamigawa set. Uh, I won't go into it why, but now let's get back to what I'm talking about. Now, this um, is should be a hundred cards of nothing but black. Um, again, I'm a black player. Um, so, first things first, I think I'm going to have to cover up my address. I think that will be helpful. <laughs> I forgot to do that. My bad. Not that it will help, but come on you. All right, so... And this is from buylist.co.uk. Again, not sponsored. So, unfortunately, it only came second class mail, which kind of I found a little bit weird. But is what it is. Taped, double sealed. Again, uh, we buy any card. Uh, they're from Maidenhead, so that's not far from me. In fact, I could actually technically get on a train, and it'll be like a 10 minute train ride uh, from where I live to Maidenhead. So, if they've got an actual physical store, I think I might pop in and. Um, let them see what they've got for their collection. So we're going to carefully... Again, I was going to use an, uh, an exact and I realised no. Um, dealing with paper cards here. Oh, blimey. There we go. Now there's usually one, one side that's meant to be pried open first. Okay. So we've got double back stacked. Nice. Packaging, packaging, it leaves a lot to be desired. So they're, they're two separate packs of 50. And apparently there was no, uh, in the set, there was supposed to be no no lands. So there's no landfill. And, uh, oh, he's, ah, they're all individual separated. Okay. So no lands and um, no more than four of any card. That's what the, the um, ad said. So we'll see. Now I'm trying not to use. You know what? I'm trying not to. There we go. Brown packing tape is not ideal, my friend. But it's your business. It's all good. Now, if they happen to be uh, um, I ha actually have a brick and mortar store, I will go in and and film it and let you guys see. Now they didn't say what sets these will be from. But I'm assuming they're going to be from more of the newer sets. So we'll take a look at the first. Thank you, phone. We'll take a look at the first sets of cards. This one obviously has a rare in it. That one's got an uncommon. And then these are the commons. So what I'll do is I'll take a look at the rares first. Or the, the rare first. So we've got Shadow Right Priest. Gruesome Menagerie. Ademia the Calafoli. Okay, that's a harpy. Uh, Concealing Curtains. Ooh, Sangio Vampire. That's a good old card from 10th edition. And that is the, uh, some of the uncommons. Corpse Augur. Zombie Wizard. Oh, dies, you draw X cards, or you lose X life, where X is the number of creature cards in that target player's graveyard. That's not a bad little zombie. Uh, Lilia's Devotee. He's actually banned, isn't he? But again, zombies get plus one. Nice. Okay, so not a bad little set. We got we got some. What I'll do is I will separate rares, uncommons, and commons. So we we, we didn't get a, we're not not a bad little set in the first lot. Okay, so Mia Trilon, that's an uncommon, common Mia Grisp, Mordus Figure, it's an uncommon. Okay. Nice. Now I'm not expecting. Yeah, so this is all from the Immokep set, so I'm not expecting to to get any. Think like uber powerful. Not from Immokep anyway. Okay. All right. So now we've got an Epitaph's Nightmare, Enemy of Enchant in in light. Yeah, is it any uh, enchantment? Sorry. Enemy of Enchantment, Flying. Enemy of Enchantment gets Neg 1, Neg 1 for each card in your opponent's hands. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, each player discards a card. Ooh, Commander. That guy screams Commander. Uh, Dragon to the Underworld. Spell costs X less to cast, where X is your devotion to black. 
So this will be a minimum of two, because it's two black. And if you've got two swamps, that's the two off. So this will be a minimum of two to cast. Destroy target creature. That's not too shabby. A destroy for two. Eightfold edge, uh, uh, Eidolon. Life link. Whenever an enhanced creature dies, you draw a card for each aura you can... You controlled that was attached to it. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, funeral rites, final death, fruits of Tadras, Grim Physician. Can't, when Grim dies, target anyone kind of controls until the end of the turn. Nice. So that's that. That's that is a typical um, uh, uh, ability that that zombies tend to have is like neg one, neg one, or destroy target creature that attacked this creature. Things of that nature. So let's take a look at the next set of cards. Temple Thief. Underworld Charger. Oh, that's a beautiful card. Oh my god, the artwork on that one. Who is that? Jonathan Bowden. Oh my god. Oh my god, check out the art on that. Oh, that is beautiful. I would love to see that as a foily. Oh, that is beautiful. It's nice to see that they're actually putting good consideration into art, regardless of what type it is. Blood Curdle. Okay. Grim Dancer. Nice. That's that's one we've been looking for. Well, I have anyway. Grim Dancer. Uh, Grim Dancer enters a battlefield with a choice of two different counters on it. Um, from among Menace, Death Touch, and Lifelink. You'd always, you would want to add, for me, I, I would add Menace and Death Touch. The reason why is because that means that you it has to be blocked by more than one creature. So it's guaranteed the moment you deal damage with the Death Touch, you're going to kill more. you get more, more meat per bullet, basically. Tares, Chosen from Death. Legendary Enchantment Creature, Demigod. Okay. His toughness is equal to my Devotion to black one and a black exile top two cards from the graveyard you may gain one life for each creature card exiled this way from graveyards ah so i can target my opponent's graveyard with that oh hello nice to see he's not like a mythic or anything like that it's nice to know that they've actually taken in consideration in certain aspects that certain creatures just this is one nightmare. Whenever a creature, this creature mutates, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Okay. If you cast a spell for its mutate cost, put a, put it over or under target non-human creature you own. They mutate into that creature on top of plus all abilities from under it. Oh, okay. So that's why he's an... an okay. Fair enough. Corpse churn. Put top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Then you may return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. That is not a bad card. Okay, so we're down to the last uh, ten, I believe it is. Um, Bush meat poacher. One tap. Sacrifice another creature. You gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Draw a card. That would go well with something like Torment. Because if you think about it, he is a creature. So you could have him exile a whole bunch of cards. The moment he gets targeted, you could use her to target him with his devotion to black. And all I'm running is black. I would gain stupid amounts of life. <laughs> nice. Uh, easy prey. Destroy a target creature with converted mana cost of two or less. With a cycle. That's not a bad card. Uh, boot nipper. Blitz Leech. Heartless Act. Yes! I knew I'd get another Heartless Act. That dust thing. You're okay. Gloom Glon. Lurking Dead Eye. Durable Coil Bug. Dark Bargain. Okay, what's this one? Look at the top three cards of your library. Put two of them in your hand and. The other into your graveyard. Dark bargain deals two damage to you for four. Mm. Draw cards and do two damage to you for four. Mm. That's 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 a, a possible. It's not a guarantee play card, but it's something you could probably play in like a life gain commander deck or something. Especially if it guarantees a card draw.
Here we go. So we're down to the last 50 cards. We've actually, we've even got a few cards that uh, I would consider are, again, I'm not looking for, I'm not looking for meta cards, guys. I'm not looking for meta. I'm just looking for cards that I can have fun with. Choking Miasma. Has a kicker cost of green. Um, if this spell was kicked, put a 1-1 counter on, on a creature you control. All creatures get neg 2, neg 2 to the end of the turn. That's good for minion, minion crush. So if someone's coming at you with goblins or something, wham. There you go. That's a nice little one. What's this one? Blight Pile, Defender, 2 black, tap. Each opponent loses X life, where X is the number of creatures with Defender you control. Ooh. Can make an okay little Defender deck based on that. Okay. Brad's Frightful Return. Round 1. Uh, sacrifice a creature. If you do, each opponent discards a card. Two, return target creature card from a graveyard to your hand. Um, target opponent may sacrifice an on-land non-token permanent. If they don't, they lose two life and you draw a card. Okay. Battle Rage Blessings. Mmm. Battlefly Swarm. Black to give it Death Touch. Aggressive Sabotage. With a black kicker. Urge to feed. Rock Tide Gargantua. 5 4. Zombie Kraken. Hmm. Exploit. It exploits a creature. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Ooh. Okay. Paraxium Berserker. Okay. Well, I think that that Rock Tide Gargantua will go good in a Liliana deck. Right, next one. Oh, uh, Zargoth Mamba. Creature Nightmare Snake. Whenever a creature mutates, target creature opponent controls gets neg 2, neg 2 to the end of the turn. You can use it in conjunction with the other one. Crawl Revival. Destroy target non-zombie creature. It can't be regenerated. Return up to one target zombie card from your graveyard to your hand. Mm, for five, it's a bit expensive. Void Beckoner, Death Touch. Okay, it's an 8 8 for 8. Death Touch with Cycling. Um, when you cycle, put Death Touch counter on target creature you control. So basically, you can. It's a Death Touch. It's a creature and a an ability to give a, a target creature Death Touch. Unlikely Aid. Eye Blight Assassin. I Blight Massacre. Non-elf creatures get neg two, neg two to the end of the turn. Deathbridge Shaman. I've always liked the art on that card. It's a common. Groom Fren uh, Fenry. Equipped creature gets plus two, neg two, and gains an additional zero plus two, and has. So it's basically a two-two with Death Touch. As long as an equipment named Bridal Growth is attached to a creature you control. Okay, so I've got to get Bridal's... Bridal's grow, grow, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Uh, persistent space Specimen. Infernal scatter, uh, Scarring. Okay, so basically that one's kind of a little like the... the um, Cauldra set. Sword of Cauldra, Helm of Cauldra, Shield of Cauldra. Interesting. That's another card set of cards I've got to get for my collection. Alright, so we've got Zombie Soldier and his Battlefield tapped a 113 for 5. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of broken. But cool. Ancient Cravings. Draw three cards, you lose three life. Okay, that's not too bad. Card draw for three. No ball. Flying whenever no when creature dies. Target player loses one life. You gain one life. Okay. Feed the swarm. What's this one? Flesh bag marauder. Each player sacrifices a creature when he enters the battlefield. Okay. Ghastly survivor. 
Lethal Sting, Hound of the Four Bogs, Hair of Fikrif, Vampire, Discard a card, Transform Hair of Fikra, activate its ability once each turn. Okay, here's the Night Creature, Vampire Berserker, Flying 3 2. Okay, interesting. So she's a flip card, Felid Imp. Macabre's Waltz. <laughs> I've always loved the art on this card. It's literally Liliana dancing with the quartz. <laughs> Return up to two creature cards from your graveyard to your hand, then discard a card. Alright, Macabre's Waltz. That's a good card. Dead weight. Enchanted creature gets neg two, neg two. Okay, shouldn't that be? And also loses flying. But alright, anyway. Um. Delirium, Transform, Strange, Activate, Spilly, only if there's four or more types of Mung cards in your graveyard. When she flips, Demon Possessed Witch. Human Shaman, a 4-3. You may destroy target creature. So that's a timed pop. Ooh. Ooh. Indulgent Aristocrat. Life link two sacrifice creature put a one one count on each vampire you control. That would be awesome in a token deck. He's a one one though, so you got to watch out for which is familiar from fifteenth edition. Zoft of Shade. Unmake the grave. Convoke. Creatures you can help cast this spell. Each creature you tap on casting this spell. For one mana. Okay. Turn up two creature cards. And, okay. Zithrad Slyblade. Human Assassin. Uncommon. With Hexproof. Wall of Limbs. Defender. Whenever you gain life, put one one counter of Wall of Limbs. Okay. And then it's uh, a 7. Sacrifice Wall of Limbs. Target player loses X life where, you, where X is the Wall of Limbs power. Interesting. That will go good in a little vampire deck. Just build it up and then pop it. Uh, typhoid rats. Okay. Last set of cards, guys. We've got Rockfester Maggot. Blood Swarm Squire. Okay. This one is one di black discard a card. Blood Swarm Squire gains indestructible until the end of the turn. Tap it. Then if there are four or more creature cards in your graveyard, transform it. And she transforms to a knight. Uh, knight and power and toughness are equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Oh, so she be minimum she becomes a four. So she goes from a three three. So you can constantly discard like weenie creatures or high powered creatures that you're gonna end up using like Liliana or something to res. And once that's done, you can pop her and start swinging away. Blood crazed socialite. Menace. Uh, enter the battlefield. Create a blood token. Whenever you blood craze it actually may sacrifice a blood token. If you do, it gets becomes a five five basically to the end of the turn, and it's not a flip. Uh, stab wound. Enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets neg two neg two. Beginning of your upkeep. Enchanted controller. Lo Enchanted creatures controller that player loses two life. Okay, so basically it's a constant. Neg and tick. I like that. Relis, relentless Bloodseeker. Okay. At the beginning of your near end step, if you gain life this turn, create a blood token. Ooh, little combo going on there. Sacrifice two blood tokens, transform him. And it becomes the beginning of your end step. If you gain life, create a blood token. For each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Okay, all right. So basically, it's a constant life drain ticker. 
Interesting. Gluttonous guest. Okay. Battlefield, create a blood token. Whenever you sacrifice blood token, you may gain one life. Okay, I see. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Old vampires were, were prevalent in that set, I see. Innocent Traveler. At the beginning of your upkeep, any opponent may sacrifice a creature. If no one does, transform Innocent Traveler. So it'll get transformed. Malicious Invader. Flying, 3-3. Three, three. Malicious Invader gets plus 2, plus 0, as long as an opponent controls a human. Ooh. So if it controls a human, this becomes a 5-3 flyer. Interesting. That is interesting. Cult Conscript. Skeleton Warrior. Uh, enter the battlefield tapped. All skeletons tend to enter the battlefield tapped. Um, with the exception of... No, yeah. yeah. Or most skeletons uh, I know of. Um, Vampire Soldier. Wedding Security. Tax you. Sacrifice Blood Token for you. Plus one. Wedding Security. Draw a card. Okay, so it's just a sack and a draw. Skull King Killer. When Skull King Killer enters a battlefield, target creature your opponent controls gets negative, negative to the end of the turn. If that opponent controls no other creatures. Okay. Interesting. So we did get a nice even split. Um yeah, I, for what I paid for this, I believe I only paid ten pounds. Was it ten pounds? Let me check my eBay's real quick. I believe it was ten pounds. Yes, it was exactly ten pounds. Um, not bad for ten pounds. I mean, I got the colours that I want, which is black, and I've got some decent cards here that I know that I am going to enjoy and that I'm going to use. Um, clearly, I could make a nice vampire deck. Um, I think I might actually do that. I think I might make a, a small little vampire deck and have some fun with that. And uh, yeah, guys, um, this is the very first episode of Cracking Packs. If you guys want to see more, please uh, like, share, leave a comment on the video down below and um yeah if if like i said guys thanks for watching and i hope to see you on the next episode